In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome analog clock effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we want to begin by generating a new circle. So we're gonna go up to this top bar inside of After Effects. We'll go down to the ellipse tool, hold shift on the keyboard and just draw out a circle. Now we'll go up to this section just up here on the top of After Effects and we'll select Fill. Now you want to select this bar over here, which is none. And this means there will be no color, no pattern. There's gonna be absolutely nothing inside the circle. But we're gonna go over to Stroke. We're gonna select the solid color on the stroke. We'll press OK. And if you want to change the color of the stroke, you can do so by pressing the color box and changing the color. I'm gonna select a nice aqua blue for now. We'll press OK, and if you want to increase the weight of the stroke, then you can just pull on this number here. I'm going to keep this nice and subtle though, so I'm going to keep this at around 10 pixels. And then from here, we can just go down to the proportional grid, turn this on, and we'll center this circle up in the very center of the video. Now from here, we need to go ahead and create the arms for the clock. So we'll go back up into this ellipse tool mask, but this time we'll select a rectangle tool. We'll go ahead and add a fill color into this. So go ahead and select the same color, a different color. It's completely up to you. I'm going to select a nice white for this color. And then I'll go over to stroke and I'm just going to remove the stroke for this one. We'll turn on the proportional grid and we'll just go ahead and create a arm. Now, if I come off that, you can see we've got this really awesome arm here. That looks really awesome. Of course, we need to create another arm. So I'm just going to go back into the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw another arm. Perfect. So from here, we need to go ahead and we need to change the anchor points of both of these arms. Of course, though, before we do that, I'm just going to make sure that we don't get confused. So I'm just going to rename some of these layers. So I'm going to rename shape layer three to arm two. I'm going to rename shape layer two to arm one. And then I'm going to rename shape layer one to clock face. Perfect. Now we're going to go into arm one. We'll press A on the keyboard to load up the anchor points and the anchor point should be in the very middle of the hand at the bottom. Of course, though, if this is not the case, then you want to go ahead and you want to change the position of the anchor points and make sure the anchor point that is this circle here sits on this box just over here. Once that's in position, you just want to zoom back out. You want to turn the proportional grid back on and you want to make sure this is perfectly centered up. That's perfect. So from here, we'll go to arm two. We'll press A on the keyboard to load the anchor points. And once again, we're going to change the anchor point, making sure that this perfectly sits on this box. And there we go. That looks really awesome. So from here, I need to go ahead and adjust the rotation of both of these arm layers. So I'm going to select arm one and arm two. We'll press R on the keyboard, scroll to the very beginning, and we'll create a brand new keyframe on the rotation. Now I'm going to pull arm two up to the very beginning. So I'm going to have to rotate that negative 90 degrees. So if we move all the way to the very end of the composition, that's around eight seconds in, we can update arm two to do a full circle and we'll do arm one. We'll increase that by, let's say around 90 degrees. Now, if we play this back, we've got this really awesome clock animation effect happening. So if you feel like you learned something from this video or if you just enjoyed it, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.